My parents tried to kill me when I was just 16 months old. Hi, Sane TV, I'm Haven. I'm gonna tell you the story of how I survived. My biological parents strapped bombs onto themselves and they helped me as a 16 month old baby. And uh, they detonated the bomb. I was blown 40 feet away from the explosion. I was born in Vietnam to two parents that had an affair and had me. And in Vietnam, women can't divorce husbands, so they decided to commit a family suicide. You know, the ultimate sacrifice of true love was to, you know, die together and have your child with you. I don't really know who found me. I was driven to the hospital two hours away in Vietnam. There was a bunch of shrapnel in my head. They had to amputate below the knee because there was just so much damage to my feet. I was in the hospital for 46 days. The only reason I got to stay in the hospital was because of other patients' families donating to me. I was adopted in the United States when I was 20 months old. It's hard to take in that your biological parents didn't really want you to exist anymore. My mom tells me the story of when I was five years old. I got out of the bathtub and I actually asked her what happened to my legs. And she told me the story about how my biological parents, they really loved me. They didn't uh, understand the circumstances of what they were gonna do. She just was really honest and explained it all to me. As a five-year-old, I could take that all in. And I just told her, I was like, well, that was stupid. Why do they do that? As I've gotten older, I don't feel anger towards my biological parents. I don't feel any resentment. I feel so much empathy, actually. We really celebrated in my family how great my story was. We celebrate my explosion day uh, when I was exploded, basically. It's called My Alive Day. Let's celebrate that you don't have legs and that you're in our family. I have had a beautiful life. I grew up in a very athletic family. All of us did sports. It was really important to our family. I needed to find a sport and we found swimming for me. I've competitively swam for the last 10 years and I ultimately got on the national team. I am a Paralympic swimmer. I went to Tokyo in 2020. It was my first Paralympic Games. I just want to give my little self a little tap on the back. Losing my legs was ultimately a great tragedy, but I've gotten so much more out of my life because I haven't had legs. My biggest advice to anybody that's gone through a traumatic incident, you are more than, you know, your story. Your story does not identify you. Your circumstances don't control you. I am seen, are you?